Hey guys, it's Tiffany Harlick, and I'm here to give you the astrology forecast for December 4th, let's see, through 10th of 2023. So I was thinking about December, it's kind of, uh, it's unique because it's sandwiched in the numerology, it's sandwiched between two nine months. So December is a one month. That means that November has been a nine month of integration, wrapping things up, organizing, tying up loose ends. That same energy is in January of 2024. So that integration type feeling. But right now in December is the one energy, that frequency of being focused on something. And so I hope that you have a beautiful month, no matter what's going on in the skies. Um, just know this, the first week of December, right, it starts out pretty good. Um, and towards the end of the week, it gets a little bit more challenging. So your opportunities are more are closer to the beginning of the week. So let's break it down. Um, on December 4th, I'm looking at Venus entering Scorpio. So this is a good time to stay curious. Uh, Venus represents what we love, what we like to stay connected to. It represents our passions. And the, the sign of Scorpio is a very passionate sign. Um, and so this is when we get, we stay curious. We're wondering about the mysteries of life. Uh, Scorpio rules our estate planning, our death. Um, it rules our taxes. It rules our sex lives, our sensuality. It rules power, right? And so this is really, um, Venus is going to be in Scorpio all the way, let's see, December 4th through December 29th. And so this is a very uh, juicy background energy um, that's going on in the skies. If we look at Tuesday, Venus, as she has just moved into Scorpio, will make a trine to the planet Saturn. This is positive. This is doors opening. This is commitments. This is people that want to get together and stay together and make things work in a good way. And maybe part of your relationship is dying on the vine and you need to let that version die. And you're ready to open the possibility to a new version of your relationship. Your relationships are going through a bit of a rebirth. Uh, there can be a reconnection or there can just be a time to be moving on and making a commitment to yourself to love yourself. So uh, Saturn helps us with our long term goals and the things that we really want to just be held accountable for in some ways. So we felt this energy back in May. So May 13th and then December 5th. So Venus trying Saturn. Um, what else do we have going on in the skies is that on Wednesday morning, Neptune will go direct in Pisces. So Neptune um, it dissolves, Neptune takes away, Neptune rules music and meditation um, and part of our spirituality. And Neptune is very happy in this sign of Pisces. And she, Neptune has been retrograde from June 30th up until December 6th. So this is a time when Neptune goes direct. When any of the outer planets um, go retrograde or direct, the couple of days before, the day of, the day after, the energy feels slower in my experience. It feels like we need to just rest more. So it's good energy, but you know, downtime is not wasted time and we need to rejuvenate. Um, this can be a time when you're getting a huge psychic hit a major intuitive rush. So very, very much pay attention to your dreams the night of Tuesday, December 5th. As you wake up December 6th, Neptune will be going direct. Um, so we also have on December 7th, Mercury is going to try in Jupiter. This is one of the good luck days and it's it's in the evening. So I report in Central Standard Time, uh, Mercury will try in Jupiter um, at 10 o'clock that evening in Central Time. That means that we have the energy building up to it all day, all day, all day. And then it releases at 10 o'clock at night. Uh, this is one of the days that uh, astrologers look for for delivering good news and also for looking good news, for receiving it, good news. So I hope that you all get some really good news let's call it Wednesday afternoon, Thursday morning. Um, on the 8th, uh, nothing major to report. The moon will switch over into Scorpio. Um, and then on Saturday the 9th, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it slows down a little bit again in the energy. Uh, it gets a little crunchy. Venus, who's just moved into Scorpio, is opposing Jupiter in Taurus. So uh, this can be when we make mountains out of molehills, when we uh, make things bigger than they are, or when they feel bigger than they really are. Um, Jupiter and Venus can be this like overspending, spending too much on holiday gifts. Um, just being aware of that, that sometimes uh, we can overdo it with the Jupiter opposition, that there could be too much sugar or too much of something. Um, and so you want a little t time to pass before you're making decisions for major expenses, right? 
uh, it can feel a little over the top energy. And so it can, it just can feel a little like, oh, you feel pulled in two directions and you feel forced to make a decision. Just see what it feels like over time. Abundance can definitely be both a blessing and a curse in some ways. And so that's what the astrology looks like for December 4th through 10th. Um, I'm Tiffany. You can find me at tiffanyharlick.com. And uh, I'm offering a free first month of my membership with the code one month. Okay. One O-N-E month, M-O-N-T-H at tiffanyharlick, H-A-R-E-L-I-K.com. So I'd love to for you to see if my astrology membership is for you. And otherwise, guys, have a great week. Uh, check out the astrology calendar in my shop tab if you want to know these transits for yourself and you want to have them on your calendar. Let the universe have your back in 2024. All right, my heart goes out to you. Have an amazing week. Know yourself, love yourself, be yourself. And namaste.